Okay, so my name is Melissa Waddell. I work at the Knott County Area Technology Center in Hindman, and I have recently uh, started the phlebotomy technician program. We had been doing the pharmacy technician program for several years prior to this year, uh, but we kind of didn't get a mu very much um, acceptance in the community. The clinical sites weren't very um, uh, forward and, and letting my students come and, and help out. So um, I got with my advisory committee and we decided that phlebotomy technician would be a better fit. They could go to different clinical sites. They could go to um, clinical sites with the nurse aid students as well. And um, they would have access to different kinds of patients. Um, I'm always nervous with this stuff, so I apologize. Um, supplies were developed, or supplies lists were developed, in, including uh, consumable items, as well as the venipexture arms, which is what I wrote my grant for. Uh, the vendors and prices were researched uh, in order to supply my program with the proper equipment. The venous puncture arms were the most um, essential piece of equipment for this program because it would allow my students to actually be able to practice uh, their technique and get confident with their ability to actually uh, stick the arm of an actual person. So we wrote the grant and we wanted to make sure that they were able to uh, develop their skills not only to uh, poke the arm and gain access, but to also um, get better, have confidence, be able to incorporate communication with their patient during that time as well. So if they were able to gain confidence and not having to worry about drawing this blood or putting it in the right tube because they had already practiced all of these things with this arm, then they can actually communicate with their patient and be more effective at the bedside and calm their patient down. So that was an actual uh, added benefit to having these arms. Um, it also allowed them to get, um, and I'm not even using my little thing here, I'm using my paper, uh, but anyway, <laughs> it allowed them to um, um, practice with the veins, the t different types of veins within the arm and, and um, understand the anatomy of the venous system as well. Uh, so meeting the goals, we did meet our goal as far as uh, w our students had uh, 200 uh, successful sticks with the arm prior to actually going to a clinical site. Uh, they were assessed in their technique uh, by me. They had to meet their steps with 100% accuracy before I would let them even go and attempt on an actual patient. Um, so they were able to do that. And then when we got to the clinical site, they were able to do very well. Like I said, they were able to communicate with their patients more effectively, put their patients at ease because of their confidence that they had with their ability to actually do the skill. Um, the patients were actually very impressed with my students because they were um, a lot more easy <laughs> with them rather than just poking them and not saying anything to the patient. So they were, they were doing very well at the clinical site and they have actually had more than 26. They have now had uh, 40 successful sticks each, which is something that had to be done prior to them taking their licensure exam, which is coming up very soon for them. Um, they actually are going to be testing in May. Um, an extra thing that I'm trying to do is set up my school as a official test site for the NHA so that my students won't have to travel long distances to be able to take their licensure exam. And that's it. Do you all have any questions for me? And these arms are not something that is a one-time deal. You can actually plug them and, and you won't even see the actual sticks from previous patients. So it has the fake blood that runs through it, so they're actually accessing it and getting uh, that gratification with that blood being put into the tube. So, okay, thank you.